The Newt Gingrich presidential campaign is off to one of the worst starts we have ever seen. Today, just a month after he got into the race, his top advisors headed for the exits. Bob Schieffer, our chief Washington correspondent and anchor of Face the Nation, has some insight into all of this. Bob? Well, Scott, uh, to political insiders, this was no surprise. When Newt Gingrich launched his campaign on Meet the Press by attacking the Republican plan to replace Medicare with government-subsidized insurance, Republicans from one end of his party to the other pilloried him. The next Sunday on Face the Nation, I asked him about the bill he ran up at Tiffany's. It's very odd to me that, 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 uh, that someone would run up a half million dollars bill it's, at a jewelry well, store. Go talk to Tiffany's. All I'm telling you is we, we are very frugal. That earned him the honor of being the butt of late night comedy. Letterman showed him wearing a diamond tiara and Conan O'Brien showed him in gold chains and a crown. Politicians can survive a lot, Scott, but ridicule is the hardest thing of all to overcome. His fundraising began to dry up, and when he took off on a cruise to Greece a couple of weeks ago, that was final straw for some of the staff. It is also a signal, I think, that Texas Governor Rick Perry may be seriously considering getting into the race. Here's why. Two of the people who resigned today have close ties to Perry, and insiders have been saying now, if those guys ever leave Gingrich, then Perry is very serious about running. I think we should emphasize here that Gingrich himself said today he is not quitting. The way he told it today, he'll be restarting his campaign Sunday. But Bob, practically speaking, does this mean Gingrich is through? Well, I think so. I mean, but if he's not, I think he better get him a, another ladder because this hole that he was already in just got a whole lot deeper today. I, I, I think he's done. Thank you, Bob.